Hey, Jim Rats. I'm gonna take you guys to an arm day today. That's right, I'm calling in a squat rack. I don't care what anybody says, because I'm gonna grow my arms. And I'm gonna teach you guys a few things that I know so you can grow bigger arms for the summer. I like to superset my biceps and my triceps. This way I can keep up the intensity. So my first superset consists of straight barbell curl and close grip bench press. Perform four sets of six to eight reps with these first two heavy exercises. And eventually I will change up the rep range. By the end of the workout, I will have totaled up about 200 reps. Um, I would consider that a hypertrophic workout. <clears throat> right here, you see I'm being pretty strict about my form. And towards the last few reps, you'll see that my elbows come forward just a little bit, but I still maintain solid control. On the close grip bench press, I like to hold the bar on the bottom of my palms, as you see here. Not a lot of people like to put it on the butt of their palms or put their thumb behind that bar because it could be a little dangerous, but I find that it's comfortable for my wrists. I've never had a problem with it. While performing this exercise, you want to keep your elbows close to your side and that bar is gonna come down to the lower side of your pecs. I do not allow this barbell to rest on my chest because I do not want to give my muscles a break. I want to keep constant tension on the muscles for as long as I can for this workout. As constant tension and good squeezes at the top is going to force a lot of blood into your muscles. Superset number two, Scott Curls and Skull Crushers. Scott Curls are performing the curl on the back side of the preacher bench. The pad is at 90 degrees, and what it does for me, and why I like it most, is because at the top of the range of motion, the bar is not taken over by gravity and not pulling close to your body without having to struggle. At the top, I constantly have to squeeze. While performing this exercise, I like to stop about 5% short of complete lockout, again, to keep full tension on the muscles. Skull Crushers. I use the same bar, the same easy bar, generally the same weight as I do with the biceps. We're using weight so you can hit three sets of 10 to 12 reps. As you see, my bench is about 35 to 45 degree angle. And I prefer that because I can tuck the bar behind my head, as you're gonna see here in a second. Now, allowing yourself to tuck that bar behind your head gets a deeper stretch on the triceps. You gotta focus and you gotta keep your triceps, again, tight to your side. I'm moving downstairs for superset number three. We have hammer curls and overhead tricep extension. This is another three sets of 10 to 12 reps. A lot of people perform alternating dumbbell curls, but I prefer to do either both arms at the same time. As you see, there's no resting periods between at the bottom or just the right side and just the left side, depending on how you're going, if you want to work one isolate. <clears throat> While doing doubles, I do like to bring the hammers to the front side of the arms. And if I was doing singles, you can kind of cross body hammer curl with the bicep heads just a little differently. <clears throat> the second part to the third superset is overhead dumbbell extension. And I use a preacher bench because my dumbbell will not bottom out on pad. As you see, I get pretty deep, get a good stretch, no breaks at the bottom, good squeeze at the top. I recommend for all of these exercises, finding your set weight so that you do three sets of 10 to 12 with 
with the same exact weight. My last two exercises are not a superset just because the machines are far apart from each other, but I call them pump and hold sets. And they burn and they pump a lot of blood in your muscles. So what it is, is choose a weight quite a bit lower than what you're used to currently. And you're gonna perform 15 reps and squeeze at the top for 15 seconds. Then 10 reps followed by 10 second holds and five reps followed by five second holds. I found that this finishing exercise is a lot better than just a normal drop set because the squeeze and the hold forces so much more blood into the biceps or any muscle group at that matter. And simulates a lot more muscle growth. Besides, the pump is quite a great feeling when you're done with your workout. This exercise can be quite tough, but uh, one recommendation I can make is by driving your elbows into the pad, you're gonna squeeze those biceps a hell of a lot better. Finisher's exercise for the triceps is V-bar pushdown. Let me point out that the cable I am using is on, on, a, on an angle and it's not directly underneath the pulleys. By being directly underneath the pulleys or close to the weights, you kind of lose tension at the bottom uh, because of the swinging of the cable. At a slight angle, 35 degrees or whatnot, you're always forcing that cable towards your body. So again, these are pump and hold sets, finish your exercise for triceps, 15 reps, 15 seconds, 10 reps, 10 seconds, five reps, five seconds. A good way to squeeze and hold this one, other than just extending those elbows, is try to pull that bar apart. I'm literally trying to rip that bar apart there at the end. So there you have it, there's my arm day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And I hope to see you again.